to be with you today but first let's pray and i'm gonna ask this beautiful lady to pray for us hands together eyes closed thank you lord father thank you that you are so kind and you're so great thank you that we can come to you father and thank you that you allow us to come to you and you love us lord father as we just take this time to learn father and just embrace your presence lord i pray god that all the teachings and everything we experience today, Lord, you will use it in our lives, Lord. I pray that you will bless each and every heart out there, God. And I pray, Father, that you will use us in your kingdom. In your mighty name we pray. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Can amen. I get an amen? Amen. Amen. Guys, are you ready for praise and worship? because we are going to it now so get up get ready and get your boogie on i'm reading my b.i.b early and this is what it says to me it tells me that i'm never ever alone i'm learning how Came down to us and gave his best Without a doubt the best friend you'll ever know Our God knows exactly what I need So I remember this Let's go! When you ask, he cares When you see, he's there When you knock, 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 knock God opens up the door When you ask, he cares When you knock, 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 God opens up the door. love praise and I worship. love it I enjoy it we just have so much fun yes. with it. but guys so today we are talking about another attribute of God mm -hmm. but first kids ma'am Ellie yes I want you to uh, play a little game with oh I love this yes <laughs> so I am going 
going to give you one word mm -hmm. and you need to tell me the first thing that comes to your mind. Perfect. Okay. 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 So, the first word is prayer. Conversation with God. Yes. Second one is love. The cross. Oh, wow. That's beautiful. Then fear. Mm, scared. Afraid. Ooh. Me too. <laughs> okay. And the last one is God. Father. Wow. It has to be Father. Yes. Guys, now, today, our attribute of God that we are going to look into is God being being God feared God is to be feared guys now stay tuned because we're going to talk all about this and it's not something to be scared of yes definitely so guys we are talking today about God is to be feared the fear of the God. Lord the fear of God mm -hmm. you are correct now, when we think about the fear of God, we first think about something to be scared of. That's mm -hmm. true. That's very true. That's very true. Something that it's like, boom, oh, and you're supposed <laughs> to be scared of it. Yes. Yes. But guys, that's not what we are talking about. The fear of the Lord is not that we need to be scared of him. Mm -hmm. Remember that God said, my, my sheep will know my name. And they will, they will come to me. Mm -hmm. I am the shepherd. Now, do you think that if the sheep is scared of the shepherd, not at all. they would go bah, and run away? No, they will not. Mm -hmm. when, when the sheep hears the shepherd's voice, they come to him. Mm -hmm. that's, not, that's not being afraid. So, let's look into what does it mean that the of for being the god feared now in english there's only one word for the word of fear of actually just one pronunciation for the word of fear and that's fear yeah but in hebrew there's mm -hmm. two yes yes for the word of fear in hebrew there's two words and the first one is pashat Pashat. Pashat, okay. yes. Pashat. And that means that's the fear that we get when we are scared. Mm -hmm. When you watch a horror movie, yeah. a scary movie. Oh, yeah, or, you hear something under the bed. Yes, <laughs> that's that fear. That's the fear when somebody's waiting for you around the corner and goes, bah! <laughs> That's that fear. That's yes. Pashat fear. That's Pashat. the fear that we get um, scared of mm -hmm. yes but then there's a second one and that's the one that says yare say it with me yare yare yes oh, it sounds beautiful and that fear means something way way different mm -hmm. that fear is reverence respect and recognizing power and position of god Wow, that's wow. big words. What does reverence mean, guys? Do you know what reverence mean, man, Ali? You could tell me. Okay. <laughs> reverence means to stand in awe. But for this one, we will need to move location. Awesome. Let's go. So, ma'am, Ali, do you know where we are? Oh, my gosh. Maybe Victoria Falls? That's correct. Wow. We are by Victoria Falls, this guys. Is beautiful. Isn't this amazing? Yes. Now, to and let me explain the fear of the Lord for you in this way. You see this waterfall. It's amazing. It's big. And you know that if you jump into this water and go over this, uh, this waterfall, you will most probably die. That's what you know. But to stand so close in it and experience the whole waterfall yes. and stand in awe of this waterfall, it's beautiful. And that's the same way with God. That's beautiful. That's the same way with God. When we stand in front of Him, we know that He has the power. He has the ability. He has the, the majesty 
to kill us. True. That's true. Mm -hmm. But God is a God of love. Mm -hmm. And we stand in awe of him. We stand presence. in awe of his presence, mm -hmm. his reverence. And with that, we have respect of him. Yes. And that is what it means to be God feared, to have fear for the Lord. Yes. The Bible teaches us that the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. Mm -hmm. Did you know that? Yes, and the, knowledge. Uh, yes, mm -hmm. wisdom and knowledge. Yes. Then to have wisdom and knowledge, the beginning of that is to fear the Lord. Mm -hmm. Now, kids, I quickly want to tell you a little story. One day, me and my friends were doing, we're just playing. And I knew that my friends were doing something wrong because they were breaking something. Ne? Oh, no. <laughs> yes, they were breaking something. But because it was my friends, I didn't want to go to them and tell them, but this is wrong. I was afraid of what they were thinking Think of me. Mm -hmm. Yes, I was afraid. But guys, that's the same way with God. When we go to God and we are afraid to do something that is bad mm -hmm. because we are afraid of what God is going to think of yes. us, yes. that is the fear of the mm -hmm. Lord. That is when we stand in the fear of the Lord. When you go every single day and you think of what God is thinking of me mm -hmm. in this situation, mm -hmm. you have the fear of the Lord. Mm -hmm. And then in his presence, you stand with awe oh, in front of him. You know that God is holy. Mm -hmm. he, he is mighty. He is so, so worthy to be praised and respected. And that is standing in awe wow. of him. No? As you were saying that, it's so beautiful how God just reminded me that each and everything follows. And when we are in fear of what he will think, when we have to action something, he will, and when we seek him, he will actually give us the wisdom yes. to make the correct decisions yes. so that we can honor him, yes. fearing him in honoring him yes. and knowing and asking ourselves, what would Jesus think? What would Jesus do? Yes. And those are things that will help us to honor God Amen. It's beautiful. It really is. So guys, we learned two types of words today mm -hmm. that means fear. The one is Pashad. It's the scary type of fear. Mm -hmm. An everyday fear. Yes. <laughs> and then we get the Yare. The fear. Yare. Yes. The reverence, the respect, mm -hmm. and the recognizing the power and position of, of God. God. Yes. In our lives. You know, Ma'am Clarissa. Yes. How beautiful Yare, because if we think about it, Jesus, we call him Yeshua. Mm -hmm. And it just sounds so, it has so much of purity in it and so much yes. of goodness. And so it will help us in our everyday lives to remember which fear we actually use for God. Amen. That's beautiful. Guys, wasn't that so beautiful? What a lovely word today that we should always remember to fear God, but to fear him with honor and respect and to bask in his reverence each and every day and each and every decision that we come across. So now it's time to get our feet up and we are going to learn the scripture of the day. So come on and join me, guys. So it's from Malachi verse 1 to 14. And it says, for I am a great king, says the Lord God Almighty, and my name shall be feared amongst all the nations. Did we get that? Let's do it again, guys. Okay. So remember, it's from Malachi 1 verse 14. And it says, for I am a great king, says the Lord God Almighty, and my name shall be feared amongst all the nations. Guys, it is time to say goodbye again. And I want you to remember today that we need to fear God. We need to fear Him, but stand in awe of Him, reverence of Him. Yes. Stand in respect of Him. 
to basically want to know his opinion of what he thinks of us in every situation. That is the fear of the Lord. Mm -hmm. And to know his power and his position. Mm -hmm. That is what fear of God is. Guys, so we are saying goodbye. It was so much fun it was. teaching you this attribute of God. But let's sit like this and then we pray together. Close our eyes and bow our heads. Thank you, Lord. Father, thank you for this time. Thank you that we can be in your presence. Thank you that we can learn so much about you, God. And that, Father, we can fear you, but we can fear you in the most highest way, God, which is showing you love and, and showing you respect and honoring you. Mm -hmm. And, Father, that you are almighty and that you are powerful, God. And thank you, Father, that we have you. Thank you that we can call you Father whenever we want mm -hmm. and need to, God. Yes. Thank you, Jesus, that you are inside of us, Holy Spirit, and that you are always around us. And so today, Father, we take your teachings and we take your love, Jesus, and we use it. May we use it in our daily walk with you, Lord. Mm -hmm. May we use it when we face challenges. Mm -hmm. And Father, may we allow it to incide in our hearts. So I pray for each and every one of us out there. I pray for each and every heart yes. and every kid, God, and every child of yours. We are all children of you, yes. Lord. Amen. So I pray that you will use us in your kingdom and you will allow us, God, just to love you and serve you. And we thank you for all of this. In Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. Can I get an amen? Amen. Who are we? Children of God. And what are we? Blessed. Bye. Bye.